Welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you and tell you how I did um, an embellishment for this piece of wood that I have in my window here in our boudoir. Um, because the windowsill is at a, such a crazy angle, I can't have flowers there, I can't have anything there. But then, then I found this piece of wood in the forest and then um, I thought maybe I could use this um, to um, maybe stick a tag in or something like that. And then um, I had my man cut this ridge and then um, I could place something in it. <clears throat> and um, let me just put this aside and show you. This is what I made. And I actually made it by gluing together two of these shipping tags. Um, just for sturdiness and then also for maybe I can show it you like this to make this sturdy and then also to have this um, platform to place the bird cage on and the bird cage um, is on um, a piece of paper from the Victorian Romance um, Garden Club collection from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and what I did is that I I fussy cut it from the paper um, and then um, as you can see it here I cut out every other every second of these um, areas just to give it that natural look that it looks like a real bird cage and then also I cut off um, here on top and then when I I want to uh, shape it roundly like this um, I used my hot glue gun to place some glue here and then fold the other pieces um, onto that. Um, I, I have actually explained it a little bit um, more thoroughly in another video. I think it was um, my first Victorian Romance um, accessories uh, video. Um, so please uh, check that out for further reference and you know since um, this also had um, I glued two together and I don't have it uh, printed on the back side what I did is for the second part for the back side I actually just folded it this way and then still uh, at this, did the same thing, glued these in the middle so that it would be shaped like this and then I simply glued it together here at this, at this place with this water canister um, on, on both, on both sides like this and like this and then it gives you this bird cage. So, and what I also did is that I actually made an opening um, just for fun. Um, yes, and then um, I used these uh, flower templates that I found on Pinterest and photocopied it. Um, in five other um, uh, sizes and then I cut it out from um, 
the Victorian Romance papers um, and I inked up um, the petals with Tim Holtz's uh, Victorian Velvet and I I glued I glued um, a border on on the bottom and that I only did because when when you look at it in my window you can actually see the bottom part um, so that I just did to hide the tag the shipping tag and I glued it on with some uh, wine cork and I also did that on all the flowers put it on um, wine cork um, and at, in some places I actually cut the wine cork um, not straight but at an angle just to be able to um, make the flower pop out, out like I wanted to. And so I embellished with some of the punched flowers that I have here as well, um, as many as I felt like. And I also used some breads for bling here. I used some of these breads. And then I used some other papers from um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden and let me show you what I did. Here I have um, a freebie printable from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. It is called Time Travel and I printed it on A3 paper and then I cut out this one and this one and then I enhanced it. I enhanced it just a no, I actually didn't. I didn't enhance this one. This is just an A3 uh, print out and then I also printed, cut out, I fussy cut, I fussy cut this hand that holds this clock and then what I did I I found I found this quote and put together from two quotes or something like that or maybe three quotes and then I I just used a word uh, program um, and then printed it out on uh, coffee stained lined paper which is also a freebie at Ephemeris Vintage Gardens blog so you can go there and download this um, and then use your word program to make your own quotes and then print out on this paper so that's what I did with this one and then I simply cut out the clock and then I used, I think I used something like this, um, used some pattern paper and then I traced this onto where the quote was on this paper and then I fussy cut it uh, along the edges. And then I glued it on to the hand so that it it holds this quote. Yes, so that is how I made that display and I am truly happy about it. It Every morning when I pull the curtains I look at this and every evening I look at it also and it just fills me with joy. It really does. And yes, we do always kiss goodnight, so yes, that is very good for us and our relationship. So, yes, that is how I did that impossible task to
to actually um, have something on display in our crazy angled window display in our boudoir. So that's for now. Have any questions? Um, make them, uh, write them in the comment section. And then, um, yeah, I hope I inspired you to make something similar. Um, find your motives uh, on these papers. Um, so, yes, that's it for now. Um, take care. Have a great day. Bye.